the death of art. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? We're just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. What I've been thinking. Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What you saying? What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Probably you don't even know why yet. But it must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Okay. And we're off. How you doing, guys? We're here. It's the Mafia finale. And we gotta drive. Let's try not to destroy the place for once. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. If you've watched it all, if you haven't, there's a playlist that'll be in the description. But today we finish things. In which armed thugs the vault and left a trail of dead. Well, we're on the radio. One of the largest reported in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence. And although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly, and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. Because you've not got shit. It must only be a matter of time. Oi. Oh, out of the way, guys. Thank you for listening. Oh, we're all over the radio. We've got them rattled. We better bounce, man. We better get out of here rapid. I hope Polly's not stole that bloody money. I swear to God, man, if he's bounced without me. I mean, I did, like, the majority of the work. All he did was just shout at the punters that were on the floor. Out of the way. Whoa, don't go. Whoa, 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 whoa. If that woman really does not know how close she just came to becoming a pancake. Well, we've gone this far without a major incident so far. Maybe the first person camera has improved my driving. All right, here we are. Polly! Polly! This right. neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Something's happened to you. Hey, hey, you heard a ruckus last night. Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. Raising hell? Like, what was, what was Polly doing? All he had to do was go home and go for a sleep. Did he have a rave instead? What the fuck? Uh, where is he? Oh, Ollie. someone. Uh. Ah, oh, Jesus. Of course. Polly. Sam was the only guy that knew that we were fucking there, man. It's gotta be Sam. That fucking piece of shit. Polly.
Press F in the comments, boys. Polly, he was a he was a good guy. Had a weird laugh though, kinda creeped out the, the kids, but he, other than that, he was a good guy. Let's have a let's have, let's just take a moment to remember our boy Polly. Hey, hey. Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Phone's ringing, what's going on? Don't pick it up, Tommy. Holly. Sam. Eh? Hey? It's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's uh He's dead. I'm looking at him slumped over in the hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh god. I was I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're uh, in deep shit, Tom. You gotta uh, disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swim well, that? Sure. Fuck. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Why would they have not assumed I was coming here? I see you soon. No. And, uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Don Salieri is just a fucking giant potato, so I'm not surprised he didn't think this far ahead that obviously I was gonna come to hear where the money was. But apparently he wasn't waiting for me already. Ah, Polly. Polly. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Honestly, man, Don Salieri is the worst crime boss ever. Someone put it right in the comment section in one of the recent videos where if it wasn't for the Something fact that he had the Terminator amongst his ranks and you know who I'm talking about, then he wouldn't have got shit done. He would have died years ago, man. Tommy should be the fucking crime boss of this city. Mainly because he's absolutely indestructible. If you just erase all those things that I, I died, of course, but like other than those, in the seamless timeline of Tommy not dying, he's an indestructible Terminator. But Salieri only could have found out about the bank job if Sam had told him, because he was literally the only other person in that conversation. Unless, you know, he was running about telling everyone and it was that guy that said he was going to cut his brake lines one day that we saw in one scene and then we didn't see again. What was that all about, by the way? That guy I thought was going to be a character and I've not seen him since. Maybe I'm, I've just forgotten about something. I don't know. But, like, Sam must have told him and then felt guilty and then tried to warn him. I don't know. But let's see what his story is then. And let's hope this isn't a fucking trap. I mean, it's been more than five minutes since we've had someone shoot at it, so I have a feeling that now might be the time, you know? Let's get in there. Don't move, Tommy. Oh, it's a trap. Shit. Fantastic. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. Put me in a bad spot. What the fuck do you call this dickhead? I know, Sam. And I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for at Polly's. Here's your cut. I just it's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. I right, so everything's right in the world, Paul. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. 
the whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. Wow. As a favor to you, you fucking Sorry about asshole, this man. Time. That, is, that is low, man. But our business has rules. Samson, what the fuck happened Shame to you, man? Toe. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. No nah, man, we got we 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 gotta take everyone down. Yeah, fucking get him! Yes! I thought they were gonna just do his dirty there and, and I had no gameplay for this episode, but here we go! <laughs> yeah. Sam is such a dirty bastard, man. I saved that bastard so many times. And this this is what he does. Disgusting. Right then. Oh, there he is. Oh, Sam. This is business, Tom. I know that you out of all of them know that. You pissed off the wrong Tommy. Oh, yanks, he's getting away. Oh, who's this guy? I don't know if that was a, ran a gangster or a random person. All this our talks back at the bar. I won't. So fuck. Shit. Will you fuck with the boss? You fuck with us all. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. No. Take him out. Come on, we have him. We have- oh shit. Oh, I thought I was down there. Right. Oh no! Oh no no no! Right. I need health from somewhere. Where? Come on. Oh, there he is. No, switch. Shoulder. up. Where did he go? What the- Flanking! I you! Whoa! What happened to his arm? <laughs> you! Right. I uh, might need this guy's ammo. Is he not dead? Yeah! Right. There's a nice Tommy gun for Tommy boy. I'm gonna get some health first though. I'd do the same with a fuck! Mate, I don't think you realised the predicament you were in. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, we're out. He just did the same thing again. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Where's our Whoa! Whoa! Oh mate, that was that was terrible execution there. You had me. He jumped up and went, Hey, I'm here! Instead of just shooting me, but like, you know, if that's the way you wanted to do it. Oh, we got another one. What the fuck is that? Tell me, little man, do you understand why Sam has made these choices? Is it because he's a little brown nosing bitch boy who rides on the coattails of others, even though all he manages to do is bleed all over the goddamn seats? Um is it is it bad script writing, big man? Yes, yes it is. I need some health. I mean getting shot up all over the place around here. Oh, yes, don't mind if I do. Alright then. Well, let's do it. Get in the way. Yeah! You better fucking run! No oh, shit. Oh, I've knocked him in his ass. He's not dead. Oh wait, he's dead now. Oh! 
Oh! What the fuck? Is that still bombing? No, okay. Not a good spot, mate. Not a good spot. Health. Yes! Right. The hell is that? Ah. He looks like a gangster. Man, that is a proper gangster. Look at that guy, man. <laughs> oh, Sam! Where'd they hire all these guys, man? Where have they been when we've been doing stuff? They would have been useful. Please be squat. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. You alright back there, pal? That was a long time he was staggering about there. Together. Together. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm so close. Gonna burn, am I? I'm like, oh, right off. Oh, I want to see about that, pal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got a shotgun. I think one of them's on fire. Oh no, no, he's not dead. Aha! Oh shit, I've got no ammo. I've got no ammo whatsoever. Give me, give me that. Right. No shit, what the fuck you doing, Tommy, you madman? Is that guy? I set him on fire, look at him, man, he's all crispy. What the fuck? That guy went on fire and then still got up and you continued. He just threw a grenade. Oh, fuck. fuck you, Sam! I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. What does that even mean? This is getting serious, boys. Right. Where? Come on. Where are they? Sam, you're a bitch. This is why you're running away. Tommy's here. Running out of guys yet. Oh, I got him right in the chest there. Right. Oh, gave it a Tommy gun there. Just unloaded. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Hey, right, uh, just for uh, good measure. Oh, that's probably like milk or something. <laughs> it's not exploding anyway. Oh no! Oh, just. Oh, look at that health bar. Oh, I don't know where this guy went. Oh, maybe getting out flanked right now. I don't know where he went, but we got ammo. Oh, they're in for it now. Oh! Mate, that was a terrible idea, man. Never jump out in front of a guy with a Tommy gun. It's always a recipe for disaster. Oh, no! Oh! And uh, I kind of did the same thing there to that guy, I guess. <laughs> Shit, I was hoping I'd be able to get through this last mission without dying. Right! Running out of guys yet! Yeah! Salieri was ripping us off! Yum! Guy's gonna jump out of the end. I was waiting for you this time, pal. Oh no. Whoa! What are they moves that that guy was doing, man? Did he just. Oh, I was about to say, did he just run out of your fucking black hole? Right. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that guy is a certified sniper, we found that out the hard way last time. Smoke him out! Oh shit, he's trying to do the same with me. Yeah! Uh, did I get the other guy? I might have. Oh no. Shit, bad cover spot. Right, we're doing good so far, but just ignore the health situation. <laughs> yeah! Lucky shot, Tom. Why did you even but try this fight, money. Sam? It pays for a lot of muscle. 
Put him down, boys. Put him down, boys. <laughs> hey, hey. Mate, seriously. I built this family. And I'll tear it back down again. Just you see, pal. Aye. I'd love to take that shotgun, but I don't have enough ammo. Oh no! Oh, he just done me in. The ironic part is if I had a shotgun, I would have totally murdered that guy. <laughs> Shit! He bamboozled me, man. He just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> look at that cover. Look at, just look at that cover. And then this guy. You really hired great guys to replace me, Sam. Look at them. Look at, he, he actually rolled over on top of that guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was facing the other way and then like, intentionally rolled over right onto him. <laughs> he knew where he wanted to be when he went with his best friend, Larry. Ooh, shotgun. Right, we're ready for him this time. Come on then, fucker. Seriously. That guy killed me last time, really. Okay, we got shotgun shells. That's good. Oh fuck, well, I should have put them in the gun. That would have been better, you see. <laughs> Seriously, guy. Just gonna wait on him shooting every bullet he's got. Yep. And, and now you're dead. Okay then. Oh, Sam. We got a nice big trail. I only winged you, mate. That's why you're fucking spilling gallons all over the bastard on walls. Sam! There's another years. hole. Now, there's only one way out. And I'm the guy that gets to give it to you. Are you? Are you now, Sammy boy? You better run. However far you run, out here will find you. Boss, you better worry about it. Pow! Again, why did you pick this fight? You know Tommy is... Indestructible. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. Mate, you shot Polly. You can disappear. Just like Frank. You already punched your ticket, pal. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. One way trip. Right? To the underworld. What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. For <laughs> the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? Can. You can't do it, can you? There's always that little voice in the back of your head. Pop him, Tommy. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. Mmm. <laughs> We sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. Yes! Exactly, fuck that piece of shit. Try to fucking reminisce when he just killed one of the guys he's reminiscing about. That's a fucking snake, man. Got what he deserved. I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, 
maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife. Four boys. What does that? What? All Irish twins. And what? You just gonna sit back down again? Cause he's got a yeah. fan. Like what? What? Like I get yeah, relatable. Blah blah blah. But like, so you know, I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Is that, is that him? I gotta be old and shit. A long time ago. He makes it. Oh, in another life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles' heel. He doesn't sound old enough. His greatest weakness. He should sound like this. <laughs> Maybe he was right. Maybe he was right. You see, you know what I'm saying. Everything I've done. Oh, not Vinny. Vinny was a good guy. He just wanted to play baseball. Both good and bad. With people's heads. Oh, there's that guy. I've done for my family. I never saw him for the whole game. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. We. <laughs> I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself. So I could come home. I wrote poetry and whacked off. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. Uh-oh. It keeps us from falling over. No, I'm not gonna get whacked, am I? We're too tired to take another step. No, tell me, me. Angelo. Yes, Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Oh, no. You get fucking done in by the guys from Mafia 2. They were, that's who that was, right? That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. 
safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. What's happening, man? What is the bird mm, okay. I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. That's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. You better not like break your legs and I need to do a walking tutorial in the next five minutes. Whoa! Okay, I guess that helps. <laughs> we bit rocket propulsion there via TNT. We bit dangerous there, Tommy boy, but it gets the job done, so. What have you done? Murder in the house of God! Shut up, you old bastard. These men were criminals, father. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. Consider this an act of divine retribution. Once you get fucked, you're no good to us. <laughs> Such deep, deep meaningful. Once you get a fact, you are no good to me, Tommy, my son. Because you need to think about your career here. You got to think about the pussle. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy. You are the man. You could run this town someday. Uh oh. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, the bomb man got it. Near what the mouth. It could have probably been a bit more uh, subtle about the way they were. Alright. What the hell? Umbrella! Whoa! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine! Alright, now hey, what? Sayeri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick! Get up, yeast! I'm still eating my fucking spaghetti bolognese. Smoke them out, Joe. Is there a back door to this place? I'm hoping no, oh my god, that's not good. Shit, watch out! Help there, mate. You're just gonna keep doing that, eh? Wait, this doesn't... This doesn't look correct. You just... You just won't wear. <laughs> mate, do you know what the definition of insanity is? Do you know? Right then, I'll, I'll just do it then, mate. You just keep kicking. <laughs> 